Now, we need to identify what is an electric charge. If someone asks me, what is an electric charge? So I will tell him that a charge is an electrical property of the atomic particles of which matter consists of. And they are measured in coulombs. So the charge is an electrical property of the atomic particles. An example of the charge, if you understand what is an atom, an atom has uh, neutrons, uh, protons, and uh, the uh, negative charges, which is the electrons. Of course, there are other types, but we will, we are not going to them uh, because it is an electric course, not a physics course. But anyway, the uh, uh, protons having a uh, positive charges and the uh, neutrons having a neutral charge and the uh, electrons are represented by negative charges so all of this the electrons the protons the uh, neutrons are called a charge something which having a positive or negative and these charges are forming our atoms so each atom consisting of electrons protons and the neutrons the electron for example is a negative one a negative charge and its magnitude is equal to as a coulomb 1.602 multiplied by 10 power negative 19 coulomb so this is equivalent to two one electron so we need to understand now what is the benefit of electric charges here we have our our battery or our source of electricity so what does this battery do this battery has uh, two terminals this terminal and this terminal a uh, terminal which is a positive terminal and another one which is the negative terminal so what does or what happens here uh, the negative here is representing our electrons okay and here the positive representing our uh, positive charges or we can say the uh, protons okay but actually we cannot say they are protons they are considered as uh, in uh, other materials they can be the um, holes holes are considered as a uh, positive charges but anyway here this battery having a terminal with a high positive charges and another negative charges so what does the uh, negative charges would like to do the negative charges would like to go from here and go to the positive particles okay as you know that for example the magnet the magnet the negative charges are attracted to the positive charges okay or the positive polarity attracted to the negative polarity but the uh, positive and the positive are repulsion with each other so anyway the negative uh, charges or the negative electrons would like to go here okay until going through here so uh, this uh, electrons uh, is the one which forms uh, our electric current which we are going to discuss in the next video so the uh, charges here which flows here causes the electric current and causes this uh, electrical load to be operated okay so the benefit here of electric charges which is representing our electron is that they are flowing from the terminal through the load and to the other uh, terminal okay so that is the benefit of electric charges uh, considering the electricity and the electron one electron equal to this value of coulomb so if we have one coulomb then we will have a 1 over 1.6 multiplied by 10 power negative 19 electrons which is this number of electrons so this number of electrons representing one coulomb okay so you understand that one coulomb is considered as a very large value so in actual life the value of charges are in the order of b co coulomb or nano nano which is 10 power negative 9 which we discussed in the uh, si units and pico is 10 
power negative 12. So this is the actual value of our uh, coulomb or our electrons.